I'm Tess, and I'm a creative director for a brand called Lomi. So let me paint the picture for today's video. Last week, my CEO called me and said, Tess, do you mind sending me all of the gardening creative by the end of February? But we live in Canada. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. What are you doing? Coconut <laughs> latte. Oh, uh, he's gonna poop, yeah. Where are you guys flying to? We're going to Phoenix. Nice. I couldn't do it alone, so I also booked a flight for Jaden, who's the videographer on our creative team, and brought my fiance along so he can work remotely and also film this vlog. We rented a black Tesla using this car app and it actually ended up being way cheaper, which was sick. Thanks, Turo. Let's break the car rental service mindset. <laughs> this is not an ad, it's not sponsored. Moving on. I booked us the trendiest little boutique hotel in Uptown Phoenix, which had the most eclectic rooms. Oh my God, it's so cute. So my goal with this trip was to get as much spring summer content as we could while we had such great weather, which meant three locations, three groups of talent and contracting a photographer. But at 8 p.m. the night before the shoot, our first location canceled on us and I was kind of panicking. I was scouring the internet looking for another option. I even wanted to try Airbnb and trying to book something, but because it was so last minute and such a short time frame, it was almost impossible to get approved for something. People just weren't checking their accounts the night before a booking. What's plan J? So I did a little workaround and contacted the host of the afternoon shoot and got her to extend so we could get the morning as well. It's literally 20 minutes to 10 o'clock. The shoot is tomorrow morning. And this host that we're shooting in the afternoon just confirmed for the morning. It's available, we're booked. Now I just have to let the photographer, the talent, and the videographer know. <laughs> what a relief. Good morning. Still dark outside. Slept horribly last night. So many things about the shoot have been on my mind. But morning means it's time for an almond latte, so let's go to bed. Wow. Stunning. Into the desert, baby. <laughs> Absolute piece of art, right? Yeah. Good Michelangelo. Waking up to the sunshine this morning actually boosted my mood so much. I think the older I get, the more I realize I'm someone that really needs the sunshine for good energy. So. This really fulfilled that. Almoc latte. Almoc latte. <laughs> Can't go without it. You know the drill. Okay. okay. We got the shop local. And for some reason when I wear these, I feel like a skater boy. So that's the vibe today. Let's go direct some creative. Get him, baby. Walking into location one, we had Jaden, who is obviously our videographer at Lomi, and Caitlin, who is the photographer I was able to contract. She's actually a local from Phoenix. We jammed a bit, and I went over my mood board and my vision board for what the shoot was gonna be. I really wanted a model that represented a healthy, mom-like, friendly character, and Cece was so great to work with. She had so many cool stories to tell, and that's something I really enjoy about my job. I get to work with such interesting people and learn their stories and really connect with them. Should I yell at my husband or call the dogs? <laughs> I woke up sick today, so I downed some wellness juices. I have to be out the door in less than five minutes. My zipper just broke before I got to do a fit check. Connor's trying to fix it right now, but I don't think I have time for this. Okay, I wanted, I'm wanted. i like feeling so blown today and I wanted to wear my like looser jeans. And these are my tightest jeans that I own, but I don't have other jeans to wear. Look at you, you look so, phenomenal. But it's like, and it's not gonna feel good in a couple hours. Oh my god, hey. Day two, that was our biggest day. For this shoot, I wanted to create a family-like vibe, like backyard, barbecue, cookout, entertainment, outdoor space. So I casted two small families and everyone got along really well. The kids had like a trampoline to jump on in between shots. So they ended up being best friends and exchanging phone numbers, which I thought was really cute. I didn't shoot as many behind the scenes this day because it was just really busy, but I was so happy with the shots we got. 
So after that shoot, Jaden had the idea of going to the Phoenix Suns game and Connor and I have never been to an NBA game before, so we were so down. We bought our tickets online, headed there and just watched the Phoenix Suns horribly lose. Even though they lost, it was still so much fun. We went to the merch shop and bought hats, even though we're probably never gonna watch them again, but go Suns. And once people realized they probably weren't going to win, the arena started clearing out. Fans were not loyal. But us, being loyal fans, decided that we were gonna get closer to the court, and literally we did. We just walked in and sat down, like three rows up from the court side, and no one questioned it. Day three fit check. But I didn't wash my hair ponytail. Good? Good. After three days in Phoenix, I found my favorite coffee place, which was a grocery store <laughs> called AJ's. Palm Lots tree check. Tree stories. But by that morning, I was losing steam. I'm a latte. <laughs> Location three was very calm. All we had to get was garden and outdoor mother-son footage. Day three, let's go. I didn't shoot as many behind the scenes clips this day, but the actor, it was this eight year old kid and he was so adorable and just gave me such good footage. And if you're still unsure what a Lomi is, I'm gonna let him explain. Lomi is a machine that turns food that you don't want to eat into soil. You put it onto plants. Bada bang, bada boom. That's a wrap. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Now on to the fun stuff. We had one day to explore, and although I was so tired from the last three days, we were determined to figure out all the activities that Phoenix has to offer. We're gonna take you on the ultimate tourist guide to having one day in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can she touch her toes? Activity one, let's go for a run on the canal. Let's keep in mind it's snowing at home. Thanks. On our run, we ran into this 80 year old man who was feeding all the ducks and pigeons and it was actually so wholesome and adorable. He goes up there at the same time every day and has really grown a bond with them. He just looked so dapper, it was so cute. We're back at the hotel, we have to check into our flight, but we're gonna go head out now and I'm really excited about the next thing. Activity number two, you gotta get some good food. Connor looked up best food in Phoenix, found Taco Cello. So we came down here and this whole Roosevelt Street has so many fun boutiques and shops. So glad we ended up here. Found parking right outside of Taco Cello, which is 10 out of 10. And also the parking was already paid for. So it's like, you know, you can't get much better than this. We're gonna go inside and get some tacos. We're gonna go inside and get some tacos. Off we go to get some tacos. <laughs> Taco time. Me on my way, POV, me on my way to get tacos. Let's go. Do you wanna do a face with the donut guy? No. Hardcore. It was clean when we got here. <laughs> Tall building. This looks mundane. Cheers. Good. Oh, no plot there. <laughs> Activity number three. You gotta go shopping while you're here. And we're downtown right now. Apparently there's no clothing stores. Which is kind of odd. Maybe, I don't know. It's one Google review that said that. So we're totally basing this off of that. Um, but now we're gonna go try and find some thrift stores. Connor and I get really homesick whenever we travel because we miss our dog so much. His name's Jasper, but his nickname is Wang. There's a whole story as to why it makes sense. But there's a vintage store called Wang's Vintage and the universe is just telling us to go there. So we're gonna go check it out. Wang's Vintage was kind of a flop, although super cool store. But directly next to it, there's a market called Monsoon Market and it was so trendy in there like, our apartment times 100. We got some like mushroom drinks. We're on our dry Jan, ooh, it's February. We're on our dry February, even though we drank the other night at the Suns game. But we're just trying to be more conscious about our drinking. So we got three drinks that we're gonna try. I think we'll do a taste test right now. But they all have very fun branding. So this is the one that we're gonna try right now. Beaming Joy, Ignite Heart Fire, and Ease Back to Center. Ignite heart fire like heart burn. 
<laughs> it's like gives heartburn. Check. <laughs> it's good. Okay, it's called Can Euphorix. Let's taste test. Right over above my laptop. <laughs> Cheers. That's really good. It's got the lightest carbonation, and I hate carbonation, so that's a plus for me. Wow, that's yummy. I, I wish I could describe it. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> You're allowed to. <laughs> you just have to try it, I guess. From there, we drove all the way down to Scottsdale. We drove and, and <laughs> to Scottsdale for Italian food. Now we're on activity number four, and we're at this cute Italian restaurant. Next to it will be my porcini fettuccine. We're doing dried porcini mushrooms. And the food was good. <laughs> Running. We're at the desert garden, uh, and we're gonna go see some live music. Hopefully. Hopefully. In Looks the like we're a little later than expected because we had a late dinner. This is giving closed energy. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, there's like four people here. That's such a donkey if we missed it, because this is what we came here for. <laughs> Window closed, no. Hi, sorry, super quick question. Did we miss the show? So it ends at nine. Okay, 40 minutes. So I could still sell tickets, but they're three, six, ninety-five. It's a dollar a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's worth it? I haven't heard the band myself. <laughs> can't do like two for one ticket. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for the information. Oh, sorry, sorry Appreciate about it. That. We're an hour and 24 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing that, Connor. What if it like damages the car? It's a full autopilot. It can't just I know, but the car doesn't know where we are right now. <laughs> That's the whole point of autopilot. You mean the car doesn't know? So you're saying you don't trust the autopilot? Yes, I don't trust the autopilot. Then we shouldn't be that. using it at all. Well, you can still drive, like you can still be ready to like fix it. What are you suggesting we do? I, you just want me to drive home? I want home? you to back up. There's nowhere for you to stop it. It's gonna fucking hit this. Do you know how many sensors these things have on them? You think it's just gonna <laughs> drive into the fucking side? You think it's gonna drive into its own charger? Okay, it's coming to your pocket. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's going kind of fast for a parking lot. It is going way faster than I would like it. <gasps> it signaled. It's signaling. Oh Come my on. god. Oh my god. It. It's turning. It's turning. There's a person. There's a person. It's stopping. It stopped. Oh my god. It stopped. The car knows. Our car just drove us home, so that's like probably the craziest thing that's ever happened in my life. I don't want to just like brush over that. Uh, but. It's our last night here, so I guess we're just gonna dig into our the most Oreo Oreos and fly home tomorrow. Wow. That is the most Oreo Oreo I have ever seen. Eat it. One of our location hosts made a joke that we can leave the Lomi behind if we want, so we actually decided to gift it to her, and she was so stoked, so that was a really nice way to end the trip. And that was the trip. Thank you so much for watching. This was my first video, so if I kind of butchered some things, feel free to leave your comments down below on how I can do better. Please subscribe, it really encourages me to make more content, and if you wanna stick around, I'll see you next week.